joke because I was also one of the monkey. I know, you know how we behaved with faculty and what kind of a patience you want to you know, to handle. Because now I have two kids, two Krishnas, so I am facing so much of difficulty to handle them even though my wife handles 90 percent. I only handle 10 percent but still I face so difficulty to handle only two monkeys. Then I realize, oh my God, how the faculty, the teacher is facing this kind of a crazy monkeys that is also 21st century monkeys. You know what uh, nowadays what students are doing? They learn everything on internet. They come and they cross question the faculty. I mean, now see the challenge. See, it is not about what is there in the book. It is about what is there in this monkey's mind, you know, so that you can tame and you can teach them something which they don't know. Along with the, you know, discipline also, which is very, very difficult in nowadays because you can't hit the children. You can't say anything. They will immediately go and complain. And even I read in newspapers, you know, they come with the entire family or, you know, the group of people and, you know, and to fight with the faculty. I think the thought process of the, of the society is changed. And in this such a difficult society, the teacher is still performing. You know, I pranam to all the teachers and to my teacher also who, uh, you know, they hit us. I still remember some teachers, but they are the one who guided us. So today when, when I when I'm speaking, it is not my own experience, it is the because of their blessings, because of what they taught us. You know, that really made us a lot of difference. And if you see a couple of countries, the developing nations as well as developing nations also, the kind of uh, teaching methodologies they have, you know, it's so open-ended. What it really means is who is interested, they will learn, others don't. But you know what is the diff fundamental difference in our Indian teachers? Indian teachers basically handhold the student who is weakest in the section and they will try to try their best to take them forward. So this is the best of the best thing, you know, the fundamental difference between Indian teacher and other teachers. In, in when I was in US and you know, in, your, in London, I have seen my friends, they are sending their kids to school. I mean, you know, they really don't care about their teacher. Because I have noticed it, but when I, my son coming back from the school, you know, half of the time he speaks about the teacher. So I understand the value. I mean, this is a value creation system. You know, it is not only about just disseminating the knowledge. They are creating a discipline. They are creating, giving a culture to our students. They are giving the knowledge to our students. They are invoking the innovation in their minds. They are connecting their right and left brains. I mean, what a beautiful thought process our teacher carries. You know, I wish as we as Indians, we feel that we are a Vasudeva Kutumbakam. You know, the entire world is one family. I wish our, we produce millions and millions of teachers. And let our teachers, you know, attend each and every school and college in the world and teach the same kind of a gyan because you know, as we know there are five powers in the world, right? So one of the power is this Deepa. Why we ignite the Deepa? Because you know we are basically the light represents the knowledge. So this is where the thing started when human is not in a developing mode, when he is in forest. The first thing what invoked his entire thought process is the light, right? So that is where the thing started, the, the human started thinking. I think that is where the learning started. But if you see the learning went in the opposite direction, he started killing the animals. And animals started killing humans. But that is where someone like a guru said, why don't you start producing your own food? That is where the cultivation agriculture started. See, this is the first guru someone, you know, started. So this guru parampara started long back and this guru parampara started guiding humans. And that is where, you know, we started wearing clothes, we are slowly understanding the star system. As you just imagine someone, I am sure, you know, most of you all are married. So they say, you know, do you see Arundhati Nakshatra? I mean, you know, when uh, at my marriage, I never saw anything. I saw so many stars. Now we also are seeing, you know, my wife is showing me so many stars. But I, I still, I still wonder, without, without any disco, can you see Arundhati star? No. So how come our grand grand uh, you know fathers and you know our uh, gurus and rishis discovered this? I think you know we are the one of the best of the best brains in the world. You know if you ask me 21st century maybe they, we are the second best after Germans. 
So I think now it's a time because we as an India we are received more than eight, more than eight hundred and four. 45 billion US dollars as an investment in last 8 years. What it really means is our, our next generation as well as our current students is going to get huge opportunities within our country itself with, with a better package. But the key role is the teacher, you know the faculty because they are the one who is going to guide them towards the destination. So imagine the industry has so many requirements, but, but the students are not fitting into the requirements. So then again, we also need to recruit Chinese, like how Pakistanis and other countries are doing. I think this is where I see that the faculty needs to get connected with the industry. That's where I see the brain vision uh, comes into picture. And they started giving uh, advanced uh, knowledge. Because you know the faculty already has a very good foundational base knowledge. Because so you know you are teaching to so many monkeys and you are also learning a lot. You know you got so much of uh, content in your brain. But but industry is changing every three months. So how we can accommodate those that kind of a knowledge? So that's where I see you know they started uh, teaching emerging technologies like AWS, Python, Java, Menstack. I mean, nowadays everyone is using this MedStack technology, right? You know, the Node.js as well as Angular and MongoDB, you know, unstructured way of uh, storing data. And recently we are creating a couple of systems, you know, where we are going to have one nation, one data. So what happens, the entire data of a student or a faculty or an institute, everything going to be reside in one place. And if you want to cross verify any student, you can simply go and give the unique ID and you can cross verify that student. So we are creating the centralized repository for the faculty, for the student, for the institute, for the edutech companies, for the startups. So when we started, what I did, you know, I have cleverly taken some people like Crown Morty G and you know, we have created a group. We had lots of consultation. You know, because we have seen, what I realized, you know, in India, the biggest problem is that why we are still developing nations because we are not working independently like this. I think now it's a time to work together as a team India. Because we got the best of the best prime minister. I think, you know, I don't expect anything more from the God, you know, because he gave you best of the best. Now he said, you know, now you utilize it. I think now it's our responsibility to work collectively together as a team India and take our country forward. So what we did, we, you know, we consulted, you know, we have taken so many inputs. Even few from SP University principal, you know, we have taken so many inputs and from uh, um, ex-secretaries, you know, we have consulted, we have taken so many inputs, how to encrypt this data, because as you know, a lot of hackings, uh, hackings are happening nowadays. This recently, AIMS data got compromised, you know, today morning, if you see, Saptakarj hospital data got compromised. I mean, you know, so how we can protect? Still, we can create a unique ID for everyone like Aadhaar. Imagine Aadhaar for education system, right? So this kind of a similar system, because as, as per Supreme Court guidelines, we can't directly use Aadhaar. So how we can create a system which is dependent on Aadhaar, at the same time it is very unique in nature, but same time it is very easy to remember. Because do you remember your Aadhaar ID? No, very difficult because it's a combination of uh, alphabets as well as numbers. Now we are coming up with a very simple 12 digit phone number kind of a number where you can easily remember even though if someone try to hack it also we have created 18 encryptions on top of it. Because see, why I am saying this because the government of India also decided to give only the best of the best. At the same time we also expect from the faculty the best of the best. Let us all work together on this. You know let us all take it forward. And today I see you know a lot of people uh, got um, you know, best teacher awards and all. Sometimes, due to some reason, I don't believe. I mean, why I don't believe it? Because all the faculties are best of the best. But sometimes what happens, we pick only few. The others who left out, you know, it's not that they are not the best because everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. I think who strengthened their strength and minimized their weakness, you know, they became best teachers. I think the rest is also best but they never minimized their uh, you know, weaknesses and they never converted their weakness into a strength. I think this is where the only fundamental difference. And I thank everyone. Um, I see uh, Sayyid Hassanji uh, uh, and uh, Registrar uh, Manjur Husseinji 
लक्ष्मी नारायण जी गोवर्धन जी 